The EU has been accused of not sticking to their own narrative over the Northern Ireland Protocol after threatening fresh legal action if Britain fails to implement border checks. To avoid a hard border, Northern Ireland effectively remains in the EU single market, with a number of controls on goods shipped from mainland Britain. Downing Street has so far rejected any proposals that would see it tied to EU regulations, even on a temporary basis. Last month, the two sides agreed on an extension to the amnesty on chilled meats moving between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. This latest amnesty will now expire in September, with both sides continuing to negotiate on a long-term solution. Now, Emeritus Professor Adrian Guelka has accused the EU of not sticking to their own narrative by agreeing to the extension. Professor Guelka told Express, the previous narrative was about how unbending and unwilling to make any concessions the EU was being, they were very strict on the protocol and how it should be implemented. But the EU granted the extension which doesn't stick with their narrative that suggests there is a degree of flexibility. I think there is a feeling of irritation that after the EU granted the extension, it was as if the UK's response was not very appreciative of what the EU has done. Increasingly, the difficulties with the protocol are being handled at a technical level, it will take a lot of sting out of the situation. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has threatened to rip up the Northern Ireland Protocol unless an agreement to ease EU red tape is found. EU Brexit chief Maros Sefcovic raised the prospect of a future trade conflict if an agreement cannot be found in the row over the customs controls. But he said legal action is not the preferred solution. Professor Guelka said any legal action threatened by the EU is unlikely to lead to anywhere and claimed tensions in the region have somewhat reduced. He continued, there is a bit of back and forth with the EU and the UK over the protocol. But in terms of the situation within Northern Ireland, I think the tensions over the protocol have reduced somewhat. What is not attached to any of these challenges is time. 